For nearly three decades the UN has sought to maintain the fragile peace in Western Sahara. Now a Moroccan border post has triggered an escalation of conflict with ethnic Sahrawis who are back to waging war for independence. The roar of bullets and gunfire has returned to fire in the border area between Morocco and Western Sahara. The United Nations reports the fighting went on throughout the night. The UN peacekeeping mission, Minerso, claims continued reports of gunfire were fired from various locations throughout the night, said UN spokesman Stefan Tujarin. We urge both parties to take the necessary steps to defuse tensions. The Polisario Front claims its latest attack on the Moroccan military has caused heavy losses after they bombarded military posts on the border. However, the truth of these claims cannot be confirmed. Since the 1970s Morocco has fought with the Polisario Front for control of Western Sahara, which is inhabited by ethnic Sahrawis. Last weekend, the group led by Brahim Ghali formally withdrew from a ceasefire that has been ongoing since 1991, following a Moroccan military operation on the border. Morocco has in turn accused the Polisario Front of responsibility for the escalation. It is a threat if you send armed civilians into the buffer zone, if you check vehicles and stop trucks from passing, said Hamdi Old Ratched, governor of Lyon Isakia El Hamra, one of two provinces formed by Morocco in Western Sahara. Vine from a border post in the village of Gurgarat, which was on the border. The post protects the main link between Morocco and Mauritania, even though it crosses Polisario-controlled territory. Last week the group staged peaceful demonstrations against the construction of border posts. In response, the Moroccan military launched a security operation on Saturday, 14-11. The government in Rabat accused Polisario of blocking the trade route. In the aftermath of the Polisario front declared war. Mohamed Salem Old Salik, foreign minister of the Sarai Arab Democratic Republic, said an unsupervised ceasefire is a thing of the past. The fighting continues after the criminal acts committed by the Moroccan forces in Gurgarat, he added. Meanwhile, Sarai's defense minister, Abdullah Labib, claimed our troops managed to record important victories and created material losses and casualties on the enemy side. However, the border post questioned by Polisario was reported to have returned to operation last Saturday, dozens of crossing for three weeks because the actions of the Polisario militias had crossed the border between Morocco and Mauritania, according to a report by the Moroccan state news agency, map, citing testimony from Mauritanian security officials. Western Sahara is the stage for post-colonialism controversy that still persists in northern Africa. When Spain ended its rule in 1975, following a war of independence against ethnic Sahrawis, Morocco sent 20,000 troops and sparked a war that lasted 16 years. The ethnic Sarai fought under the banner of the Polisario Front which is supported by Moroccan neighbors, namely Algeria and Libya. The two countries, especially Algeria, routinely supplied the Polisario Front with weapons and armor. But since the 1991 armistice, Morocco has controlled nearly 80% of Western Sahara, 
while the rest of the territory along the border with Algeria has been controlled by the Sarat I Arab Republic. The latest escalation occurred in Gurgarat, which is located on the southern border. Here Morocco built a freeway to Mauritania as a trade corridor. However, the existence of the post is considered to have violated the ceasefire agreement.